So at the MD Anderson Cancer Center where I work, we are doing a rehab study and we've completed it actually, working with um, patients with brain tumors and we're giving them cortical stimulation via TMS uh, after neurosurgery, the day after, basically, and pairing that with rehabilitation, with physical therapy or occupational therapy. And we've done a series of 10 days of stims consecutively until they're released from the hospital. In the rehab study that we did at our institution, we took EEG before brain tumor surgery, immediately after um, rehab, and then uh, one month later. And what we saw is that indeed, when we deliver low frequency stimulation to the unaffected hemisphere, we can see cortical activity on the other hemisphere, which is what we want. We want that hemisphere to become active after surgery. But further, and I think more interesting, is that we can see cortical um, activation of networks. So we can look in the premotor network, the motor network, we can look at connections to the thalamus and subthalamus and see all of those come online and activate um, in, a, in a stronger way than they did prior to the surgery. So I think that's really important for rehab potentially, and I think it's really important to demonstrate the effectiveness of, of TMS. Further, those activation areas tie in with the thalamus and subthalamus, which are sort of rhythm generators of the brain. So we can see that TMS actually has an effect on network connectivity and increases it um, after 10 sessions.